Well now, Briar Rabbit had made friends with Old Man Taripin, a big turtle that lived in the pond near his house. Briar Rabbit and Old Man Taripin liked to pull tricks on Briar Fox, and that rascally fellow got pretty mad about it. Since he couldn't catch Briar Rabbit no how, Briar Fox decided that he'd get even with Old Man Taripin instead. He started walking beside the pond every day, hoping to find the turtle out of the water. One morning, as he was taking his daily stroll, Briar Fox saw Old Man Taripin sitting right in the center of the road. The old turtle looked hot and bothered about something. He kept shaking his head back and forth and he was panting like he was out of breath. Howdy, Briar Taripin, said Briar Fox, stopping beside the old turtle. What's the matter with you? I was a strolling in the field beside my pond when the farmer came along and set it on fire, old man Taripin gasped. I had to run and run, but that ol fire was faster than me so I curled up in my shell while it passed right over me. My shell is hotter than the noonday sun, and I think I done singed my tail. Let me have a look, said Br'er Fox. So old man Taripin uncurled his tail and poked it out of his shell. Immediately, Br'er Fox grabbed him by the tail and swung him right off the ground. I gotcha now, Br'er Taripin, cried Br'er Fox. You ain't gonna bother me no more. Well, old man Taripin begged and begged Br'er Fox not to drown him. He'd rather go back into the fire in the field on account of he'd kind of gotten used to being burned. Br'er Fox swung the poor old turtle back and forth by his tail trying to decide what to do. Putting old man Taripin into the fire was a tempting idea, but then he remembered how the old turtle had curled up into his shell so the fire couldn't touch him. Br'er Fox frowned. Fire was no good, then. Br'er Fox decided to drown old man Taripin instead. He tucked the turtle under his arm and carried him down to the spring house by the pond. Please, oh please don't drown me, old man Taripin begged. I ain't making no promises, Br'er Fox retorted. You've played too many tricks on me, Br'er Taripin. Br'er Fox thrust him into the water and began bouncing him up and down. Oh, I is drowning, shouted old man Taripin when his head bounced out of the water. Don't let go of my tail, Br'er Fox, or I'll be drowned for sure. That's the idea, Br'er Taripin, Br'er Fox yelled back and let go of his tail. Immediately old man Taripin splashed down and down into the water and thumped onto the mud on the bottom. Kerplicky splat. That's when Br'er Fox remembered that old man Taripin lived in the pond, and there was never any fear of him drowning, no how. He could hear him laughing from the bottom of the pond, I dare you ta come down air. Br'er Fox jumped up and down in fury. Old man Taripin had escaped him. From the other side of the pond, Br'er Bullfrog called out, Knee deep. Knee deep. Br'er Fox glared at the pond, and then looked back at Br'er Bullfrog. It's only knee deep, he asked suspiciously. Knee deep, knee deep. Br'er Bullfrog said again. All the little frogs joined in the chorus then. Better believe it. Better believe it. 
Well, thought Br'er Fox, if it was only knee-deep, then he'd have no trouble catching old man Tarippin. Wait in, wait in, croaked Br'er Bullfrog. Knee-deep, knee-deep, agreed all the little frogs. Br'er Fox didn't much like water, but he really wanted to catch old man Tarippin. He approached the edge of the pond cautiously. From underneath the water, old man Tarippin laughed at him, and his words bubbled up to Br'er Fox, I dare you ta come down air. I dare you ta come down air. Well. That did it. Br'er Fox ran right up to the edge of the pond. Leaning over, he looked into the water and saw another fox staring at him. That's your brother. That's your brother, Br'er Bullfrog told Br'er Fox. Br'er Fox was thrilled. He didn't know he had a brother. Now that there were two foxes, catching old man Tarippin would be a cinch. Br'er Fox leaned down to shake hands with his new-found brother, and toppled right down into the deep water of the pond. All of the frogs laughed and laughed at the trick they had played on Br'er Fox, and old man Tarippin started swimming up from the bottom of the pond, his red eyes fixed on Br'er Fox's tail. Br'er Fox knew that the old turtle wanted to pull him down under that water and drown him, so he learned to swim mighty quick. With much splashing and squirming and kicking, Br'er Fox made it to the edge of the pond, where he jumped out and ran away as fast as he could, while Br'er Bullfrog laughed and the little frogs shouted with glee. The last thing he heard as he rounded the corner was the voice of old man Tarippin calling, I dare you ta come down air. Br'er Fox never messed with old man Tarippin again.